everybody, it's Jeremy. Welcome back to Wild Arms 2. This is episode, I believe, 32? 33, probably. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Looking too many things. Um, so we failed in our... We didn't, we didn't fail. Well, we failed in our endeavor to get uh, status lock, because I don't think we can get status lock yet. I um, think we have to wait until after we... Uh, after things get worse. Um... So there's that. We did succeed in defeating one of the special mobs, which was a massive pain in the ass. We don't want to do that again um, without status lock. So uh, we are going to progress the game. Um, we just got to go find the next gray point. We didn't fail, but we failed. We failed one objective and succeeded in another objective. All right. Oh, right. Well, let's go down here and uh, pick up whatever the hell's on this thing. Forget about that. Yihui. A war respite. Nice. We ended up using, like, four of those. So it definitely would be nice to have some more of them. Okay, so the next ray point is west of Silverland Castle. And it is apparently a flyer. Hey, there it is. Just hanging out in the air. There we go. Cool looking. Nice windmill motif going on. What's this? Hey! Cool. Alright, well, we need to do this. All right, so we'll come up here. Uh, hmm. Can we do this? We can. Mist Cloak. Hey! Mist Cloak! Hell yeah! Allows you to jump over damaged floors and pits and go through walls of netting. So Mist Cloak will allow us to pop over here. And then we can... Yeah, hell yeah. Absolutely. Ah! Alright, it's very short-ranged. Holy crap. Good to know. Gotta be like right on the edge. Do this. Ah, I hate that. So, certain floors, like these ledges, for example, right? These ledges you'll you can walk up to and you'll get that bloop, bloop sound where you'll you'll do the oh I'm falling motion and it'll let you do things from there. But there are certain floors that are deemed trap floors that you do not get that action on. So these windmill things are considered trap floors. So well I don't see that doesn't make any sense because I have it right here. Why is it why is it doing it here? For me, I guess. Ah, I'll, I, that's what it is. It's because there is floor below me, so the game is recognizing. Oh, there's floor below you. You might want to drop down there. But if there is no floor below you, the game says, "Nope, got you. Fucking fall." 
which is kind of a pain in the ass. <laughs> it's very rude. There we go. Success. That was tight. Alright, what we got going on? Oh, this is like a super Tim centric one, huh? Ooh, a crest. Nice. Very excited to get more crests. Oh, I bet if we mist coat cloak, it's gonna push us. Yeah. Very cool. Sweet. Alright, we've got some pushies that way. Got some pushes that way. Um, feels like there should be a push that way, but there is not. Okay, well, let's just follow the push that we have, then. Whoop. Not close enough to the edge. Damn. The one facing the wind asks why... Asks by way of the wind, then the wind flow will answer. Can we change the wind by doing this? No. The one facing the wind. It's gotta be a way for us to change. What do crests do? Allow for weapons upgrades? Crests are specifically used by Lilka um, right here. She is a crest sorceress. So every crest allows for her to scribe a new spell. Um, and there are a crap ton of spells in the game. So basically each, each crest allows you access to a new spell. Okay, 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 okay. So this thing is going to choose the direction of the wind. And I'm assuming we can air ballet it? Yes. Cool. Let's see where this takes us now. Okay, so that is a... Very cool. We want both of these because they are items. Shell win. Alright, that looks like probably an upgrade for Tim. Yeah, nice. I love how the gear has um, interesting colors. Like the crest in Shadow Hearts Covenant. Then again, in that game, each crest has spells affiliated with it. A bit like Materia. Gotcha. Yeah, it's somewhat like that. Um, so you can, in this game, you can write any spell to any, you can write, yeah, you can write any spell to any crest. You just have to have access to the different levels of spells. Um, it's, uh, it's an okay system. You can also, um, I think the fun thing about it is, is you can, you can erase crests. So if you, if you know what you're doing and you're looking for very specific spells, you can go, Put those spells on the crests, use them, and then you can erase them and put different spells on them. So if you're doing speed runs or things like that, you can actually um, you can actually kind of like customize what you're going for. Or you can just look for every crest in the game and get every spell in the game, basically. All right, holy staff, fate staff, nice. Wire hook on over, head back this way, and I'm assuming that is the direction that we want to go. So we need one more air ballet. Okay, that wind vane kind of has you messed up. What's wrong with the wind vane? <laughs> the hands on it? What? The hands? What are you talking about? Oh, they're a single 2D texture. <laughs> they are a little weird. 
the front and back are different textures? Well, you know. Look. They were doing their best at the time. They do look like spoons. Absolutely. They look like big-ass spoons. Alright. Anything hidden or secret here? Doesn't look like it. Oh! Boss time! Alright. Let's do this. I, I don't know what to tell you, my man. I do not know what to tell you. So, unfortunately, I think this guy is basically the same thing as Flam. Um, which is kind of unfortunate, but it is what it is. Uh, this game is typically pretty good about not just, like, recycling people. Um, but unfortunately, in this particular case, I think they basically just recycle. Still, the Flam Knights look pretty cool. Or the Spriggan Knights look pretty cool, so... All right, we're just gonna attack, attack, attack. We're just gonna attack all, all around because we're trying to boost up the... Um, the FP that we have. We'll get Ashley up to access and we'll try to get can Cannon up to a bunch of um, time for base Tim to carry. Basically, Tim gets to go, oh, you would die, don't die. But no, really, this game is Ashley Carry. It's it's as soon as you get access in this game, most of the fights turn into oh well. I guess we should access with uh with Ashley and start smacking them because it just he does an absurd. It's Blazer Carry, yeah, absolutely. Um, Ashley does a absurd amount of damage in Lord Blazer. Access time, and then Tim is actually just going to attack as well as can. Tim's going to generate uh, FP so he can do HP sh FP share, basically, and potentially try to get um, Ashley up to a higher amount of FP faster. Because if we do, Ashley can just um, basically blast this man into oblivion. Do an FP shift. Um, Cannon can do a phalanx on shield. Just his basic attack does almost as much damage as uh, Cannon's phalanx does. FP shift. Very nice. So now he can do gun blaze. Uh, we're going to go ahead and FP shift again. And then we'll do another phalanx. Oh, wow. Apparently, gun blaze counts. Oh, this guy just. Absorbs fire, period. That's interesting. Okay. Was not aware of that. Row, row, raggy. Let's see if Mad Luciad gets the same treatment. I'm going to go ahead and attack. Do another Phalanx. I really, really want Eagle Claw. We've been trying to farm Eagle Claw for a really long time, it feels like. Granted, it is only a 1% chance, but damn. I feel like we've 
been unlucky. Spiral Typhoon. Okay, so Spiral Typhoon is the big, big damage one. So. Yeah, yow. Uh, so we're going to do another Mad Lucid. We're going to do a... Yeah, we should, just in case. Do an Odoryuk. Uh, Mad Lucid. I kind of want to do, like, a Banisher, but... I'm worried that... I'm worried that he's going to absorb it, you know? So we're not. We're going to do a combination with Odoryuk, and then we will do a... We'll do another Phalanx. This won't kill him this turn, but we should be okay. Um, assuming that Tim gets to... Uh, oh, wow. Never mind. We killed. I forget how much uh, damage Mad Lucy does. Oh, we didn't fucking lucky guard. We should have lucky guarded. Sayonara. Yeah. Kicked his ass. Very nice. Okay, cool. There's a save point. We'll go ahead and make use of it just in case. Shouldn't be any issue, but we haven't really been saving as much as we should be here lately. Um, kind of been, kind of been a little bad about that. Oh, the boy. You get the pet pet. You get the pet pet. Like, papa. Leave me alone, papa. Yeah, hey, Nice. All right, cool. Oh, I should have done that. Green means good. Okay, that's not gonna work. Is there a weather vane over here? I bet there is. Yep. All right, so. Weather vane. What are we looking for? We're looking for... What does this do? Oh, we can't. Gotcha. I don't think this will go that far. Nice. Okay. don't know I don't know that what that that I don't know what that does for us though I don't think it does anything maybe maybe if we go back over there now we can yeah 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 okay 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 so we want to reset that basically what it was And we're going to have to thread the needle on jumping across. Oof. Oof. Moon piece. All right, what's that? 
piece in the shape of the moon. Uh, it's the... Uh, okay. So we, we have to do this, I'm assuming. I guess there's no... We just drop off. We're gonna have to head back this way anyways. I'm assuming each of the different locations, each of the four directions is gonna give us a moon piece. We take the pieces together and that's how we finish up this ray point. Cool. All right, what do we got? Um, bunch of, oh, got too close to the edge, my bad. Okay, so. What are the red gems on the ground? They look like rupees. They are, uh, they're gems. They, the small ones restore HP. They all restore HP depending on the size, right? So they restore HP when you pick them up to your entire party. Um, the bigger they are, the more HP they restore. But also, um, Lilka has a rod called the Change Rod that when she shoots a big crystal, it will turn into a hardened platform that you can walk on. So they're partially just ambient heals that you can pick up in the dungeon, but also partially um, interactable items that you can use to solve puzzles. All right, so what are we doing here? Can we, can we land on that or are we gonna have to do? Yep, no problem. All right, let's get this spinning. I'm assuming we're gonna have to jump down and then gap close over the two of them. See how that goes. Not too bad. Star piece, okay. So we got a star piece, a moon piece. Nice. Shortcut. Okay, let's go see what the other side is all about. Ah, I keep doing that. I want if there is there anyone here that I even want to fight? Um, Raypoint Flam, Raypoint Geo. We're interested in someone from Raypoint Geo. Because technically I want to fight everything. I just like I'm not intentionally trying to fill out the the bestiary, but you know, actually I don't think I can fill out the bestiary. I bet there's a sun piece and maybe a dark piece. Probably something along those lines. Okay, so there's an entry that way and an entry this way. Okay. Hmm. We're gonna have to knock that off, maybe? Let's go see. Let's go. Oh, I was actually gonna fight that. Um, okay. Maybe we can air ballet? Nice. And then this one's easy, so we just puka. Cloud piece. Okay. I bet there's still a sun piece though, so it's probably gonna be sun, star, moon, and cloud. Which I think cloud's kind of a weird one comparatively. All right, so we can spin there. Just drop off and mist cloak over. Ah. Huh. Is it because we touched it or is it because we took too long? I don't know. I'm. Betting it's because we touched it. It is. 
Okay, so we need to we need to miss cloak over it onto the thing. I'm willing to bet. So let's try to miss cloak. Yeah, yep, that's the plan. Whoop up. I was just doing a process of elimination, you know? Sun piece. Yay, you were right about the sun piece. Very nice. Okay. Onwards we go. I'm gonna fight, because I want to see... After Myokai's explanation of uh, green means we haven't fought them before, I'm kind of like, ooh, nice. Ah, cool. Well, we know the Giga Flam, or whatever it was, was actually pretty dangerous, so let's try to respect these guys. Um, first aid. And it's starting to actually get some HP. That's nice. Probably should have uh, healed on Tim. Probably okay though. Bioelectricity. Oh shit. Not bad. <laughs> Definitely not as bad as the uh, the other guy's slam. That thing did like 1,500 damage. It was pretty scary. We've got some... Ooh, hold up. That, those aren't fire. I have pierced the sea of wind on the journey to the stars, passing displays of colored order. Ah, we have to put them in, in an order. I've pierced the sea of wind on the journey to the stars, passing displays of colored order. Colored Heavily Pedestal. Cloud, Moon, Sun, Star. I was thinking Sun, Cloud, Moon, Star. But, I mean, we can try. Let's... Hop on over. We'll do yours first. Cloud. Ooh. Moon. Sun and star. That did not work. Um, oh, I should have left that one as. Uh, so I think it's... So what I think it is, is I think it's... I have pierced the Sea of Wind. So I think... I think this... I mean, no, you're just taking a guess. It's all good. Um, so the Sea of Wind, I think, is clouds, right? And then obviously stars is the stars. I think the eye in the sentence is maybe the sun, like the sun's rays piercing the clouds. So I think it might be sun, cloud. But I'm not sure if it's moon or then stars. I'm also not sure if it's this is where it starts or this is where it ends. So IDK, we're probably going to have to try a couple of different combinations here. Um, and I could be very wrong. So get ready for other ideas. <laughs> 
Uh, let's see. We'll try moon and then star. And if it's not this, then we'll try to swap the star and the moon. Okay, still closed. Take. Take. Star and then moon. Nope. See, that's not it either. Um, maybe. It's the other way around. You're thinking of relative distance from the Earth, but I don't think piercing is being the sun. That's fair. Absolutely. Uh, piercing, I could be completely wrong. So, ooh, what would that be then? That would be cloud. Yeah, so like you said, cloud, moon, sun, star. Mm. Um, let's do the same thing. Let's do your cloud, moon, cloud, moon, sun, star. But let's do it from this order. The uh, puzzles, um, most of the puzzles with items in this game, like with your tools, your interactable tools, I really like, but I'm not, a oh, hey, that was it. Nice. It was just in the opposite order. So we did it, um, when I did it previously, I did cloud starting here um, rather than cloud starting here. So good job. Hell yeah. All right. Success. What are you doing, Odie boy? Be dead, Odie boy. Tim, the boy to be sacrificed who doesn't know the answer. Alright, I don't know about sacrificing. If you wish to liberate the ray point I control, you must reveal your reason to fight. I mean... Know that only when you find the reason to fight within your heart will the ray point be liberated. If I don't find the reason to fight, then? They keep throwing this into the mix, right? If you can't do it, then it will be locked for eternity. I'm like, really? I doubt that. I somewhat doubt that. Now we get... Tim's internal monologue. I'm sure Puka will show up. Gaia asked me the same thing at the sacrificial altar, the reason I fight. I could never risk my own life for something like that. It's because you don't want to die, because you're afraid to die. Beginning, that was true. That's no longer it. When I thought of someone beside myself, I came into my powers. Who is it? It's... <gasps> Is it Colette? That's right, I wanted to protect you. In order to protect you, I decided to work really hard. There's only one road for you to choose. Please just drop dead. I love how this game is so obsessed with Tim dying. They're just like, Tim, Tim, die. It's like, alright, y'all calm down. I am the pillar. I have the power to protect what is important. Easy. Let's go on and die. I love you, Tim. Aw, oh, Puka to the rescue. I've thought about it, too. That's the destiny you were handed. But the answer Tim defined is a different answer if you looked. I'll think about it, too. Tim MVB. I want to protect the people who are important to me. Hard is true. And in order to do that, I'm willing to risk my life. But then what's stopping you? I can't protect the people I want to protect that way. I think. Say I die and save Phil Gaia, but if something happens again later, it's Colette who will be the sacrificial pillar. To not be able to do anything when a person close to you is facing a life-threatening danger. Yeah, I, I, I like Tim's scenario is basically like, look, I don't want to sacrifice myself and die, and then, you know, something else happen later. Like, as long as I'm alive, I can try to fix things. 
And I absolutely agree, right? I'm, I've never been like the martyrdom kind of concept. The reason I risk my life in battle is not to save the world. Also to create a future that no one else has to be sacrificed. Yeah, fucking um, the, the whole... The hidden village is super sacrifice happy. Thought about it and found the answer. Important to do that. Yeah. Right, but I don't regret it. Came up with it all on my own. Puka, you're not supposed to do things like that. You're supposed to have no personality. Bad Puka. Good Puka. Pukas are meant to have no will themselves. They are to act only according to orders. Saying. I can assume other forms because I don't have a self. But being with you, I was able to think and act on my own. Leading you to a different future wasn't anyone else's idea but my own. I have found my own self. Does that mean I can't use you to transform into things anymore? Because that would be a bad thing. By discovering myself, I am no longer Puka. So this is goodbye. I don't like that. It was fun. <laughs> Puka's just like, Peace, bitch. <laughs> We ain't about that. You ain't going nowhere. Shut up. Did you lose something? Hey, it's Puka! When did I die? <laughs> he didn't. He was just like, uh... It's true that by finding self, the old Puka no longer exists. But that was a step in transforming into the new Puka. Fuck yeah. New Puka. By gaining insight into self, my powers are greater. Hey, how's it going, Natty? Thanks for the raid. What are you up to? Hey, thanks for the follow zero counts. I appreciate it. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> how's it going, man? What are you up to? What you just finished getting or... Bleh, words are hard. What did you just finish doing? So Gaia's life energy, Wings Mana, has been liberated in this quietly filling. Hell yeah. You're playing some Odd World. Holy shit, Odd World. That's fucking dope. I haven't seen Odd World World in a while. Do you have a you have a fun time with it? Oh shit, we got high combo. Uh, high combo is basically just upgraded uh, Guardian. Soulstorm. It's a remake of Exodus. Really? That's cool. Nice. Yeah, I really enjoy puzzle-based puzzle, play puzzle -based platformers. Like, I like puzzles in general. Like, I, I will occasionally just pick up a puzzle game just because. Um, in fact, I really need to finish Escape Goop. Yoy! Success! We won. Um. And we'll always be together. It should play Baba as you. <laughs> okay. Sure, sounds like a plan. Um, okay, we are done with Raypoint Wing. Now we've got a couple of different things to do. Um, one of the things that we're gonna do, we're gonna do some optional stuff real quick. I say real quick, it's not super quick, but whatever, we'll do some optional stuff anyway. Uh, we're gonna head over to Odd Headquarters. Baba is you is so good. What is Baba is you? Give me, give me the skinny. Give me the, give me the cell. Baba is you. Have I heard of this before? Have I seen this before? I think I've heard of it before, but it does definitely does not look familiar. It's an award-winning puzzle game. 
where you change the rules by which you play. Interesting. A word-based block-pushing puzzle game. It's a puzzle game where you make is and statements. Aha! Uh -huh. Interesting. Okay, so I think we're going downstairs. Oh, shit. I don't have... I gotta go farm some uh, duplicators, y'all. I really don't want to do that, but I probably should. All right, we're gonna use Electel to get this little fucking robot out of the way. Welcome to the black market. You threw a link in the Discord? Sweet, I will check that out later. Who's this guy? Ah, oh, he's a name changer. Cool. Welcome to the black market. All right. Nice of you to drop by. We handle rare items you cannot find in the other stores. Sure. What do we got? Ah, we can buy berries. Um, heal berries, big berries. Big berries are actually still super useful. Restoring 2,000 HP is pretty nice. You killed two Modicons? Oh no! Uh, revive fruit uh, is kind of whatever, but war respites, these are actually pretty, pretty big deal. You can go down the street and buy berries too. <laughs> nice. Oh, uh, rude. Yeah, you can buy berries. Only on the black market though. Okay, so we're using our... <laughs> such a freaking i'm so used to them being limited in resources now don't get me wrong right like you can't you can't buy them until like 90 percent of the way through the game <laughs> so so it's not really like uh uh an option for most of the time saw a few monsters on the sea drop big berries and had no idea they were somehow uncommon yeah they're super uncommon uh, okay. Alright, so we gotta go across here. And... Oof. Push there. Can you not pull this way? Oh, you can't pull this way. Oof. Okay. Hmm. Who well, then? Like wild arms, one where there are diamond dozen, literally. Yeah, absolutely. You need to grind your berry farm for wild arms three, so you can continue your stream. Man, the hard life. Okay, so who we fucked that up? Let's just reset. Oop! Didn't mean to actually go upstairs. All right, I think we're doing the that the complicated way, so let's just ignore that and do that. Nice. You gotta go. Might be back if you're still streaming. Planning another collab. Nice. Well, can, fingers crossed on your collab. Um, I'm probably gonna be done here in another like 10, 15 minutes. First try, what a pro. <laughs> yeah, Huey. Hey! Thank you very much. You have a good one too, Natty. Alright, we come across. What is this even? I don't even know. A teddy bear? What the fuck is a teddy bear? I have no memory of this place. What is this? S stops luck from dropping at an inn. Hmm. Interesting. So you can lock your luck if you get into best. That's pretty interesting. Hmm. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Fair enough, fair enough. All right, well, that is not a teddy bear as a stuffed animal. Yee. 
Um, so we've got duplicator chests that we can't get because we don't have any duplicators. I guess we could go farm some. Made one out of red and blue flannel. Wait, the game penalizes you for sleeping? It doesn't super penalize you, but what it does is... Um, everyone has a luck stat, right? And your luck stat will... I think it... I don't know if it drops or if it randomizes when you sleep at an inn. I think it decreases... Um... But I don't remember how it goes back up. There's specific ways. I don't I don't remember though. It's it's uh normally not a big deal. It normally doesn't matter very much at all. Uh there are very few things in the game that it actually matters on. Uh do we want to farm duplicators? Sounds like a not good mechanic. I again, like, yeah. Mostly, but at the same time, it's so inconsequential 99.999% of the time. There's only one thing that I know in the game that's actually gated by luck, and that's um, there's a dungeon where you have to have best luck to actually get through a door. But there's an item that gives you plus two levels of luck, the amulet, right? Increases your luck by two levels. So it's really easy to, to get around. Um... It's, like I said, it's it's uh, it's almost like an inconsequential mechanic. I think it only kind of, like, somewhat matters if you're, if you're trying to, like, super farms, particularly, like, rare items. Then you want, like, best luck. But, again, that's super obscure. Speaking of which, <laughs> we might go farm some rare items. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, we might go farm some rare items. For a second. Okay. So, who do we have right now? We have Cannon, Tim, that's fine. We'll do cannon with with Maravel. Maravel has Fengalon. So we'll do cannon with um, Fengalon, and we will put a amulet on her. Actually, if Ashley already has best, that's probably a better plan. Um, do that. Do that. Fengalon. Best. And we'll just do that. Alright, so, um, duplicators are basically magic keys that allow you to open magic chests. Uh, there are a whole bunch of magic chests in the game that are locked. The only way to open them is to use a duplicator on them. You only get so many duplicators in the actual game, just like uh, finding them, picking them up. But uh, you can uh, steal them from an emily, enemy called a an Omnigel. Yeah, kind of a similar, similar such situation. So we've got, uh, we want to find an enemy called a Babalu and steal from them. It'd be a relatively easy situation. These are not very strong enemies. Floros. Interesting. And we're not looking for, like, a whole crap ton or anything like that, but uh, it would be nice to pick up some, basically. I think it is a relatively rare enemy, though. I'm going to be mad if it's another one of these enemies that's like, only after the world falls apart. I don't think it is, but fuck if I know. It might not actually be in the crater, though, is part of the problem. To wander around other locations on the island. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, new enemy. 
Here we go. Okay, so this is what we're looking for. Uh, we basically just want to pickpocket each one of them in turn. Duplicator acquired. I don't think... I don't think they... Yeah. Oof, well, that's annoying. Not a big deal, but it is annoying. Um, we'll have Tim go ahead and do a antidote on Ashley. Pickpocket failed. Unfortunate. Okay. Pickpocket again. We'll do a first aid. I guess I can kill the one that we already stole from. So there's that. Ooh. At least they die in one hit. My goodness, the the stealing is not uh, going well. Tell you what. Hey, there we go. Nice. We only needed two. I mean, I'm sure we'll need more later, but we can always come back and farm more, so. We will go ahead and try to steal the third one. And once we get it, we will be done. Once we get it. Hey, nice. Okay. All right, so let's actually, we're going to head back to Odd Headquarters just for the sake of kind of like completion. Um, we're going to head back up there and we will grab those two um, duplicator chests and that will be that. And that will probably also be the end of the stream. It is getting pretty late here. We've been going for just over four hours. And I unfortunately have to work in the morning. grab these. I don't remember what they are. I think one's a scapegoat. I think, um... Pretty common to use. Yeah, there's a scapegoat. And I do not know what the other one is. Odd sandals. What's that? That is... Increases encounters when worn. That's cool. If we're actually trying to, like, farm. You have to see the doctor, then go to work? Oof. Well, hopefully that goes well. That's a feel. <laughs> Look. Right? That's my life. Oof. Fucking. If only we didn't have to go to work. Odd sand sandals sound like a burn to Crocs. I mean, were Crocs even a thing when Wild Arms 2 came out? Got so many enemies that we haven't gotten yet. There's a lot in this game. Holy shit. There's way more than I thought there were. There are 342 enemies. We are basically at the end of the game, and we've only done 45%. Uh, we've only found 45% of the enemies. That's kind of intense. Oof. Big oof. Oh, nope. I was done. Clogs, perhaps? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see that. I can see that. Many are permanently missed. There are several areas that you cannot go back to um, that you, you have to. Uh, the game actually does a really good job about not putting really missable items. All of the dungeons that are destroyed or you can't return to none of them have items in them that you can complete without getting basically um so you can't miss any items that way but you absolutely can miss 
enemies in those dungeons. So. Anyways, let us hop off over to probably back to Maria. Oh, that's our our go-to scenario. I like how we pop into Maria and there's the hovercraft, there's Lombardia. Just hanging out there just like, yo man, how you be? So, alright. Um, we're gonna run up here and we're gonna do a hard save and that is going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye, everybody.